Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 306. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 302 to 306. Hey, in this trick, we have some letters in cells, and we need to look up each one of these in this table, and we need to return all three things to a cell. So C should return 5, A should return 9, and T will return 3 down here on the list. And we want to add them. So how do we do that in one formula? Well, we're going to use the lookup function, and then we're going to use mconcat. mconcat will concatenate elements from an array. Now, this function is not a built-in function. It's part of the more funk add-in. And I did a video on this add-in, Magic Trick 276, more funk add-in. Amazing. It adds 66 amazing functions. And that this add-in has been around for a long time. So now, the first part is look up. We, we need to look up all three of these. And we're going to use the lookup function, not VLOOKUP or index or match. We're going to look, use lookup. It will be able to handle this array of values here. So equals LOO, lookup. And the lookup uh, values, one, two, three, that's the um, uh, ability that lookup has of looking at multiple values because it'll look at all three and return all three values. Comma, and the lookup vector, that's this right here. Lookup also can look up in one vector and return stuff from another vector. So one great use for VLOOKUP is these two vectors can be anywhere in your spreadsheet. Control Shift Down Arrow, comma, and then I'm going to get my second one, Control Shift Down Arrow close parentheses. And just to show you how uh, lookup works here, I'm going to highlight this and then hit the F9. You see how it returned an array of values. It looked up all three and returned all three. Control Z. Now, those are numbers. I want to string those together. So that's where mconcat comes in. Now, what mconcat does is those three numbers were in an array. The mconcat will take the elements of array and concatenate them. So when I hit F9 here, which is the evaluate key, you can see it put them together, 593. But the fact that they're double quotes means they're text, Control Z. And so I'm going to simply add 0. And by adding 0 to a text string that represents a number, it will convert it back to a number, and then Enter. Now, I posted this question to the Mr. Excel uh, message board, and the link is right there. And I got two answers. Uh, Dave Patton made a major improvement on the one I did. I'm going to scoop this out right here. Control C equals Control V. Uh, he pointed out um, that lookup, you don't need to use the lookup vector and the result vector. You can just use it as a little table. So I'm going to highlight both of these, backspace, and simply highlight the first two and Control Shift Down Arrow. So that's much shorter. And then instead of adding 0, he did a double negative at the beginning. Both of those meth methods, double negative um, or the 0, will convert this number as a text string to a number. And then uh, Control, Shift, Enter. Look, I'm asleep at the wheel. What did I do up here? Uh, someone should have screamed at me when I did that. <laughs> oh, that's not what we want. You got to control shift enter. This monconcat cat is an array function. Control shift enter. So there it is, 593. Now, now Richard Scholar from the Mr. Excel message board had a great solution that didn't involve the mconcat, which means you don't have to download that add in. Now, we still use the uh, lookup because that is a great part of this, of any formula you do for this, equals that. But uh, he noticed, if I highlight this and hit F9, there's a 5 and 9 and a 3. And really what we want is 593. Well, if you remember from fourth grade math, uh, this 5 represents 100. So if we could multiply 100 times that 5, it would give us 500. And 10 times that 9, it will give us 90. And 1 times that 3, it would give us 3. So here's how we did it. Control Z. He raised those three numbers, exponent here raised it, and in parentheses, 3 minus, 
And now I'm going to curly brackets. This is array syntax. One semicolon, two semicolon, three. Close curly bracket. Close parentheses. Now what this does is 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 3 minus 3 is 0, which is exactly what we want if I hit this and hit F9. Um, oops, Control Z. The, the part I forgot is this, times 10. So now we get this right here, F9, 2, 1, 0, and 10 raised to the 2 is 100. Uh, 10 raised to the 1 is 10, and 10, oh, 0 raised to anything, of course, is 1. Control Z. And notice there's semicolons there. And I want you to notice something over here. We could have used commas, but we use semicolons. Because here, if I hit F9, there's semicolons there. And so that um, will match up the multiplication just fine. Now, right now, if I highlight all of this and hit F9, you see it's 590 and 3. Control Z. So now I just need to sum somehow. I'm going to sum product. Sum product. In his post, he did sum and control shift enter. So then I just control enter and there it is 593. Wow, that is so cool. I love fourth grade math on that we get to use in really the logic from fourth grade math we get to use in really uh, cool Excel problems. All right, we'll see you next trick.